Virgo. Welcome to your December 2020 general reading. Because it's general, some of it will resonate with you, some of it may not. That's okay. Be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. If you don't know them, there's a link for a free natal or birth chart in the description box below. And I am taking on new clients. Remember, a general reading never replaces a personal private reading. Keep in mind also that this may be happening now, about to happen, or may have happened in the past. Energy is always in motion, so whatever time you're watching this and hearing it is the right time for you. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm happy to have you. Thank you. I appreciate you being here. And if you've donated to my channel in the past, thank you. All donations are welcome and greatly appreciated. You may also hear some snoring in the background. That is my pug, Pasha. Please give this video a like, subscribe, and hit all notifications so that you are notified every time I put up a new video. All right, let's go. Virgo, I've already done the pre-shuffle so that we could get right into your reading. We're going to start off with a message from your animal spirit guide for the month of December. An animal spirit guide is an animal, and this isn't the one that walks with you through life, but one who comes at different times in your life to lend you its special medicine to help you heal or to guide you one way or the other. And so, okay, sorry, you've got swan. I think it's just easier to see it like that with the lighting. So you have swan, which is a beautiful, mystical creature. Swans are filled with grace. They remind us of beauty, inner beauty, outward beauty, depth. Um, they're loyal. Swans are also associated with the other world. The Druids, um, swans were part of their um, celebration uh, of Samhain or their New Year, which is a time when ancestors are close, the veil between the worlds are thin. So expect messages this month. Virgo from your loved ones who've deceased, who've passed on. This is beautiful. This could be friends, family, um, obviously loved ones, even pets. Be on the lookout and know that it's a message from your loved one that it's not coincidence. Um, this is beautiful. I, I shuffled and this is what came out and I'm excited for you, Virgo, because this, this time of year especially can be very, be very sad for many, many people. Many people have lost ones this year, especially because of COVID, but it's also the natural process of life and we lose our, we lose our loved ones. So for you, I'm excited and I'm happy. Look for those messages and remember your inner beauty, your grace. Walk this month with grace that you have and depth. Remember who you are and remember you're beautiful inside and out no matter what. Okay. Remember the ugly duckling. Okay. Was a swan. How wonderful is that? So I'm happy for you. I'm excited for you. And I've repeated that. So I'm going to go on. Now I've also asked for a message from the angels from the angelic realm, whether it's regarding health or what else it is you need to um, do for yourself for this month, what guidance they have for you. Okay, and there you go. Miracles. <laughs> I love it, Virgo. Expect miracles. Expect messages, which are miracles in themselves. But you see how she's sending light in the darkness? So there may be, uh, you've been seeking an answer to a solution, you've been having a problem that you can't figure a way out of, or you just can't see clearly and expect this to happen. So if this is something you've been trying to figure out, Virgo, turn it over to God, turn it over to the angels, because, you know, we, we can look at things 32 different ways and still not see an answer because we want... We want the answer now or, you know, we, we block things ourselves. So allow them to show you the light. Allow them to just allow the answers to come and accept it. So if you're confused about something, the answer is no. And and you're not hearing the answer. You just, just stop. Give it a few days. Ask one more time. And again, if you get a confusion, uh, if you get a stupor of thought, they call it, the answer is no. It's either no, or now is not the time, or just don't proceed yet. Wait, and then go back in a week or two, and, and do it that way until you get the answer. But it will come. The answer will come for you. But expect these miracles, Virgo. I'm really happy for you. All right, we're going to start off with the the read. Um, I do, uh, for months, instead of week by week, 
it's always been it's always come to me in threes so beginning middle and end right so let's say the first to the tenth more or less and it's not exact day by day um, so we're going to start off with the beginning of December more or less the first to the tenth so today moving onward so all right we've we're starting off with the Queen of Cups so there's love this may be you may be wanting to stay in the house and with COVID, why not? But you may be feeling you want to take care of domestic things. You may be feeling like you need to nurture yourself, Virgo, and you want to take care. You might be wanting to cook or try a new recipe, whatever. But also for love, I feel like people may be needing you. And you, of course, you will never turn people away who need a shoulder to cry on. You're there. And um, water sign. Uh, this could be a friend or a loved one that may be needing you or that may be there for you to lean on. They're highly intuitive, so trust their gut, whatever advice they offer you. Now also, going this way, this could also be love coming in, someone that you know or someone new. Um, and you've got the go-ahead here, we've got the Hierophant in reverse. Normally this is breaking free, this is tradition. But for me, when I see his arm up, it's stop, don't go forward. But if this is about love or romance, you've got the go-ahead to move forward. And you've got gifts and, and childhood, like a beautiful love or romance coming in for some of you, not all of you, obviously. But this is gift, innocence. Um, so I like that. If this is a new love coming in, I'm excited for you. Um, this way now, going into that first part of this um this is also a time where you will be doing some reflection obviously because you're in the house and this time of year we tend to do that um and a lot of sad emotions come up but for you virgo you may have been in the process where you've been seeking truth but you're blindfolded you couldn't see things clearly you may have been cho choosing like here you may have a decision to make or may have had a decision to make and there were two or three paths to follow this may have also been in a relationship where someone was in the middle or trying to divide you but now virgo it's like you see things clearly whatever it is the blindfold is off um, and you're facing your fears you're facing whatever it is you're working on the solution but i feel like you see things clearly you know what you need to do or um, you finally have that clarity of thought for you. Uh, that's what I feel like. And it will bring some pain. It will bring some pain if this is what was regarding a relationship, um, whether you see things you could have done different things differently, or you see things that they did that deliberately hurt you, or you see things just whatever it is, there are things that are going to be upsetting to you, Virgo, but you just deal with them because there are these things I feel like most of them are in the past because you have this clarity of thought. So whether, uh, I feel like it's more of the past thing than present. But if it is present, you will have that clarity that you need. You will have that clarity. Trust the angels and you will see what you need to do. You have the depth. You may even receive messages from your loved ones who will give you guidance regarding these situations. So this is a very high psychic time for you virgo so just go with it whatever happens you know you've got the light you've got the candle you've the light is being shed on things and you'll see what you need to see and however painful you'll be able to work through them and if you see it go this way i love this because if we're going now going towards your future and and what you've got looking ahead you're dealing with it you're seeing it but then you know what you come to that clarity and you've got the queen of wands so you know what she's not going to take bullshit from anybody it's like you see this you're dealing with it and now you know what you're sitting on your throne she's looking she's looking ahead she's sitting firmly she's also psychic she sees things she's got new she's ready to create she's creating have that new beginning have that new start and just you know what i feel like also for this uh, let's just kind of blend in here going into the second part the middle part of the month we're going to if this takes us around the solstice around the holidays the 21st the 20th 22nd 23rd coming down this way i feel like if there are family celebrations or people that you need to see you're going to carry this pain in you or be dealing with it but you're going to put a a, a face forward like a a happy face and you're just going to do what you have to do um i feel like you're going to not go overboard and a lot of people can't obviously now with covid and there are restrictions for this and restrictions for that but i feel like you're just going to be able to go forward and do what you need to do and 
at, for the end of the month, you have the world in reverse, and the world in reverse is just like not moving forward as quickly as you'd like or things that may be unfinished. So going this way, this may leave you with some unfinished business or still, though you have the clarity of thought, it may take you some time to process and move on with the new month and moving into the new year. But I feel like you'll be able to do it. It's just going to be like, okay, you may have been hit with some things and we don't, you know, get better overnight. Um, because if this is regarding a past relationship or, or in a current relationship, this is things that, these are things that need to be processed. So they do take some time. So this isn't necessarily a bad thing, um, the, the world in reverse. Okay, sorry, it's off camera. Let me try to move that for you. Okay, so now we've got going into the middle of the month again. You've got the go-ahead regarding love or, you know, dating or, or moving forward that way. You've got the go-ahead. Um, but also for you now, if this is regarding making decisions regarding work, You've got the go-ahead. Whatever it is, I feel like there's a positive coming in because now he's working and he's um, creating and making things happen. So he's manifesting what he wants. You, so you've got the go-ahead uh, to if you're going to start a new job or to start uh, working towards uh, working from home or your own creative project. And again, this is all this middle of December is all about new beginnings and making things happen. OK, so so if you're processing this and these emotions and now you're moving forward and like now it's like you're getting on with your life, Virgo, whatever it is, and you're now going to manifest and create the life of you want, whatever it is, you may need to set a new routine. You may need to set, um, you know, when you plan things. Um, you know, you get up at a certain time, you may need to plan things to, to squeeze in an extra 15 minutes to dedicate to your new online business or your new, uh, you know, even if it's 15 minutes of ideas or planning or 20 minutes or a half an hour, get up a half an hour earlier, 15 minutes earlier, go to bed 15 minutes later, whatever it is, like you're doing the work. Virgo, and that's what's important. Whether it's emotional, physical, you, you're going to bring home the bacon. You're going to do the work that brings you the money um, and brings you that life. I feel like these, instead of money, I feel like these are all different aspects of your life. So you've got health, you've got finances, um, maybe planning on moving into a new home, or maybe planning on um, trimming up and getting into better physical shape so that you can bring in whatever that you want, just feeling good or longevity or just taking care of yourself and feeling good about yourself because when you feel good about yourself you raise your frequency you raise the vibration of the whole planet and then you become your king or your queen but you're sitting on your throne so like you're going to get this under all control Virgo whatever it is that you're doing and I'm really happy about that remember she's psychic so trust trust this going forward um, because also now holidays for many of us we've got gifts this may be um, kids coming over this may be loved ones obviously this time but this is also a childlike time um, I love this card because it's more about having fun innocent fun and letting go not being adults but being able to relax and let go of worries so take this time if you can and forget about your worries whatever it is forget about it if you're going to think of childhood memories enjoy them if they're good. If you don't have good childhood, I feel like they'll be good because this would be like horrible, but this is like good. So rejoice in those, enjoy them. Um, and a lot of times we bring those traditions that we have to our holidays. You might want to do something different because you want to break from tradition, but then, you know, there may be some childhood things that, that you just want to enjoy, but enjoy it. And look at this, going into this last week or this last 10 days of the month, You've got this this childlike quality. Do your best to hang on to that. Um, and it may also be kids, surrounding yourself with kids, nieces, nephews, grandchildren, whomever it might be, or just new babies. Just enjoy this time, baby's first Christmas. Enjoy it, Virgo. It's going to be beautiful. Now, six of pentacles, six of coins. I love this card because for, for me... Um, Though things may be a little bit off balance, you still have three and three. So things to me are balancing out financially. Maybe emotions might balance out whatever it is that you've been through. But I also see like you can't see it. Uh, let me see if I can get this. No, nope, because that's going into the light. Yeah. Anyway, this is also a time for um, 
So you've done the work and now you, you're reaping, you're having what you need financially. You're going to have the abundance of health. You're going to have the, like you're taking care of yourself here. You see what you need to do. You're doing it. You're implementing it in the middle of the month and then now you're going to be reaping the benefits. See, how, it's just, I love this, how this flows for you, Virgo. Now, again, um, what you set, you're going to be sitting well towards the end of the month. Um, this is a time uh, when you can even be charitable, be more giving. You can even be more forgiving. But remember, you don't have to, when we forgive, we're forgiving for ourselves. We're forgiving the other per like they may not be aware that they hurt our feelings, they may not be aware or they may not care that we're suffering. So when we forgive, we're lightening the load for us. We're helping ourselves heal and that may be part of this too, getting to work on forgiveness, forgiving this, whatever it was, that's upsetting us, okay? But um, I also feel again, if we go this way, we've got things that are worried and you're like, you know what, still being determined. It's all about you seeing clearly, being determined, getting to work, getting the job done and reaping the benefits for you this month. And again, this is not a horrible thing because normally like this would be the cycle going through our seasons, chapters closing. This may just be process going into the new year for you, Virgo. It's just a process. So I feel like, you know, when you set things in motion, it's like when you order something online, you have to wait for it to come. It doesn't come the next day. It doesn't come instantaneously, right? You have to wait for it to come. You have to wait for it to be packed and shipped and come through the delivery process. And that's whatever it is also that you're manifesting is going to take a little bit of a process for it to come. Okay, Virgo? So um, finances, you're going to get to work and do what you need to do. Finances, you're going to be okay for the end of the month. Again, if you want to take that new job or have a new, create a new job, create, uh, um, excuse me, create that new business, you've got it. You've got the go ahead for new love. Um, regarding current relationships, um, I feel like there's this nurturing things and you see things clearly. Whatever these are, whatever these worries are, um, I don't feel like so much it's bills or money. I do feel like it's emotions for you. Um, but let's see now what the wrap up is for the month and going into the new month and actually the new year. Okay, look at this. So you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So look at that. You can't make this up. I love this Virgo. So you've got, you've got the wheel here, which is really the world and it's slowing down because you've got to allow things to happen and then it's going to happen because you've got the wheel now, the, the wheel flowing. So when it slows down, it won't take that long to get going again. So whatever it is that you're trying to manifest is not going to take a long time. As you close out the month, go into the new month, go into January and go into the new year, you've got the wheel of fortune and it's right side up. It's not in reverse. So you're in a period of good luck. You're on the upswing, not the downside. You're on the upside. And remember, everything is cyclical. So right now it's going to be, you're going to be starting off things on the right foot and things are going to be going well for you. So like, boom, boom, instead of like this, it's like, this is going to write itself. So it's going to work out for you, Virgo. Um, again, expect these miracles, allow them to happen, allow these messages from loved ones, write them down, take care of them, treasure them. This is a time I feel for a lot of you is introspection. And for Virgo, if you've had these past relationships and you've moved on, um, there may be, like I said, some things coming back, but it's okay because I feel like you know what you need to do. You may have already taken action and now it's just, you've got the go ahead. Just keep doing, focus on yourself. I feel like this is about you empowering yourself, Virgo. This is about you empowering yourself going forward and then sitting on your throne as the queen or king that you are. And she's, look, look, she's holding. She's holding the wands, the creativity, the fire. Make it happen. These are all new opportunities, new growth, manifestation. It's all about you this month, Virgo, really. You've got it going on. Look at that. And the money. I love it. So, Virgo, happy holidays. Happy New Year. I'm sorry for those of you who, you know, we've all lost people this year. And these are special messages to um, some people that I know, actually. But this reading, um, 
it's for you. And I love you all for being here, each one of you, though I don't know you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for trusting in my gifts. And thank you for trusting in the messages. And um, Happy New Year as well. So take care, stay spiritual, and I'll see you soon.